but today they come alive with the splendor of women's gymnastics. Frozen in time, the hands articulate the beauty of movement. The back provides the foundation. And the feet usher the whole from point to point. Perfection is not difficult to find in a statue, but it is in a human being. But the one gymnast that comes closest to perfection is Svetlana Boganskaya. Today, she defends her crown at the European Gymnastics Championships. Shortly, Soviet <laughs> Romanian. This year, once again, the Soviets look very strong. Well, just when you think the sport has reached its peak physically, and just when you think the rest of the world has caught up, the Soviet gymnasts take a quantum leap forward. Now, Svetlana Boganskaya, defending world and European all-around champion, has been responsible for setting new standards with her interpretive dance and graceful disposition. She leads a youth brigade of unbelievably exciting and talented athletes. Now, in light of the recent developments in Romania and the revolution, when talking to their coaches, they're concerned that their athletes might not be that well prepared for this event. Needless to say, their training has really taken a back seat to the revolution. Well, the Romanians, led by Cristina Bontis, will be fighting desperately to keep their place. And with the added distractions, it will make their task even more difficult. However, you can never underestimate them. Even though their routines are somewhat less stunning, they're tough competitors and just as precise as the Soviets. It's the European Women's Gymnastics Championships. Today, it's the all-around competition where 65 gymnasts are here from 26 different countries. The gold medal will go to the gymnast with the highest combined score for the vault, the uneven bars, the balance beam, and the floor exercise. In an earlier session, we had an exciting opportunity to see a bright new hope for the Soviet Union, 16-year-old Tatyana Groshkova. She gained a great deal of attention here with her high level of difficulty on the uneven bars. Then on the balance beam, she introduced her own new move, a back handspring sideways, from now on to be known as a Groshkova. And on floor exercise, she stunned the judges with another new move. Her intricate and delicate choreography just punctuates the ever-present depth of the team from the USSR. Certainly one more Soviet great to watch for in the future. The Temple of Olympian Zeus stands today in the shadow of the Acropolis. But in its day, it exceeded in magnitude all other temples in Greece, prompting Aristotle to compare it to the pyramids of Egypt. Even bars, this is a crowd favorite, Henrietta Anodi from Bekashaba, Hungary. Henrietta won the uneven bars last year in the European Championships and really surprised a lot of people, Kathy. Well, and you'll see why the ease in which she performs these tough moves really points out her talent. The music you hear in the background is for a floor exercise routine going on simultaneously. You can see her good position in the air on her pirouettes. Shoot through, full twist. Nice transition move. Look at that. Good release move. Right into what's called a Jaeger, another release move. One difficulty after the other. Boy, in such clean form. Notice the toe point and the leg extension. And no bend in the arms as she shoots to these handstands. Watch this dismount. Coming up after these pirouettes, double back. What a great start for a competition here for Onodi. One of the things that makes Onodi's routines more interesting and original are her transition moves like this shoot through full twist to the high bar. Very clean. And a strong start for Onodi, 9.95 on her best event. From the Soviet Union, this is 17-year-old Svetlana Boganskaya, the reigning European and world all-around champion. And she begins this event with a very risky mount, a front flip. It's like being shot out of a cannon. You can't hold back or be too cautious in any way. This is the move that gave her problems in earlier practice sessions. No problem today. She has such an enticing style and grace. It really sets her apart from some of the others. Kathy, how difficult is it to start the competition on balance beam? Well, it's very difficult because you have no other event to get the nerves out. She has to come out with a tough, aggressive mindset. She really is today's grand dame of gymnastics, similar to Ludmila Tereshova in the early 70s. Oh, 
required split leaps. Terrific focus. Very focused. And her dismount, double tuck, a great way to start the competition, especially on such a precarious event. On this front foot mount, it takes incredible leg strength to get up and over that forefoot beam. Plus, it's a blind landing. Your feet hit the beam before you actually see it. Well, it wasn't precarious for her. 9.962 on her opening event. Romania is Cristina Bontas, one of the stars of last year's World Championships. Since then, of course, Romania has undergone a very dramatic and bloody revolution. You see there, on her left shoulder, the V for victory, the symbol of that revolution. Kathy, okay. she certainly hopes that that V translates into victory today as well. Well, she captured the attention of the crowd at the World Championships. We'll see if she can do it today. She begins with a full twisting double back and Bart, when you open with a move that has become very popular with all the gymnasts, you really want to show off the height and distance. She stepped out a little bit there. That'll cost her a tenth of a point. Her second tumbling run and this is a combination tumbling run it has really added to the routines as far as the level of difficulty continues right along and Kathy the choreography is really traditional Romanian dance isn't it well it's really lovely but you see there that she's able to relax a little bit more than we've seen in the past from the Romanians a little smile Change of pace in the music. One of the requirements. Taking a big breather now before her last tumbling run. She does a double tuck. She wants lots of height and get that rotation around. Very nicely done. Solid landing. Another consistent performance for Romania's Cristina Bontas. As her country moves towards democracy with elections later this month, it's interesting to reflect on what's happened since the revolution. Last December, the world watched as the Romanian people took to the streets to revolt against the regime of Nicolae Ceausescu. In the aftermath of that revolution, the gymnastics world began to wonder what had become of Romania's talented gymnasts. Anyone want revolution, not gymnastics. That's quite clear. We have more serious problems than gymnastics. For 14 years, some of Romania's greatest fame came from its young gymnasts. And in the hour of the revolution, it was once again the young voices that rose above all others. These children are the future. Maybe uh, they have the chance to, to, to have a good life in the new democracy in uh, our country. And I think they start from now to, to prepare this uh, good, uh, good life in the future. Signs of change are already visible. A new flag and a new symbol. Maybe you see on the television, this sign was uh, used uh, in, the, in the moment of the revolution. And this uh, sign is, I think, uh, a victory of uh, young people. Rotation here at the Women's European Gymnastics Championships in Athens. Christina Bontas's 9.925 on floor to size was good enough for third behind Boganskaya and Onodi. This is 16-year-old Soviet Natalia Kalinina. Second of three tumbling runs coming up here. There's that very stylish choreography that we have mentioned with most of the Soviet gymnasts. 
Glow almost out of bounds there. She's getting set for her last run. This is a long rest stop. If it's too long, it could be a deduction. And a full in for a dismount. Once again, the Soviets just pouring on the difficulty. I'll be interested to see whether they make that deduction, though, for that long rest stop. The opening tumbling run was a laid-out double backflip, which is two flips in the complete stretch position. And once again, because of the high level of difficulty, only a minor deduction, 9.925. Although she has long and elegant style, in gymnastics, Svetlana Boganskaya's size can be a disadvantage. First, a gymnast must be beautiful. But you must also have the difficulty. If a gymnast is tall, it is more difficult for her to perform complicated elements than for a short gymnast. Even though it's been hard for her to keep up the level of difficulty, where she has left her mark is her innovative dance. This routine was choreographed by a former dancer with the Bolshoi Ballet. This is her first of three tumbling runs. She does a full and double back. Very strong opening. You can never stand still in this sport. She's increased her difficulty on this run to keep up with a younger gymnast. Since the World Championships, it's interesting to see how many gymnasts have changed their routines to try to emulate her style. Boganskaya at 17 has said she might retire this summer. That floor exercise routine, one will never forget. And the score, 9.937, keeps her in the lead over Onodi, and Bontas is third. Laka is the shopping district in Athens where you can buy almost anything. Relics of the past and forecasts of the future, like t-shirts for the 1996 Olympics, which Athens is bidding for. Hungary's hopes for the Olympics is Henrietta Anodi. We asked her about her fame. I'm very happy that I'm like so much in my country. It's a great honor. It's never been difficult to handle the attention. Currently second in the all-around, here she is on the floor. And the interesting thing about her floor exercise is most gymnasts, first of all, have three runs. She has four. Four different tumbling passes. She's so light on her feet. Whip over. Pull in, double back. It's a little bit of step back there. It could cost her a couple of tenths. This should be a triple twist. Oh. She really gets all the way around before she lands. Her third of four tumbling runs, and it's a combination tumbling run. Pull and double back. As we've mentioned before, they usually start their routines with that, and she ends with it.
Anodi seems to stall her triple twist in midair, although we've seen this done before. Very few finish it all the way around. Score 9.912 for Anodi. On vault, this is Svetlana Boganskaya, her best event. She's currently first in the all-around, slightly ahead of Anodi. And she performs a Yurchenko full twist, and if she lands this without stepping, she'll be hard to beat. She really can soar. Good position in the air, a perfect landing. Might be the first 10 of the meet, Kathy. Very well could be. A textbook vault. Her power is so reminiscent of Mary Lou Retton, and the height she gets is really exaggerated by her long body. Of course, her form is impeccable. Textbook it was, and it's a 10. The only one of the meets so far. And of course, we'll keep Boganskaya locked in first place. Onodi second, Kalinina moves ahead of Bontas into third. Four Athens in the fourth and final rotation. Currently second in the all-around, this is Henrietta Anodi on the vault. Her first vault scored a 9.85. This will be her second. Of course, in the all-around, they take the best of the two scores, and she'll need a higher second vault score if she hopes to stay ahead of Kalinina. She does a Yurchenko, full twist, little hop there on the landing. It cost her a 10. Anodi's vault has really done very well. Perhaps the only difference between Boganskaya and Anodi is the slight hop on the landing. And a little better score, 9.862. On the uneven bars now, in her final performance of the day, this is Natalia Kalinina. She needs a 9.9 .9 to move in front of Anodi. She has a great deal of flair and extension. Straddle over, kip to the high bar. Look at that straight body in the air. Beautiful pirouette right on top of the bar. There's her release move. Straddles up. She's very precise in every position. Absolutely. Straight body, another release move. Does not give away form breaks at all. Full in double back, little step there on the ending. That little step, perhaps the only deduction in that exercise. Over on the balance beam, Christina Bontas anxiously awaits her last performance. Kalinina's score is a 9.9, .9, exactly what she needed to move her ahead of Onodi. Romania's Bontas needs a 9.95 .9 to move ahead of Kalinina. <laughs> And we've mentioned how difficult it is to start the competition on the balance beam, but to end with this much pressure is really, really tough. Hopefully she can maintain that mental toughness. disappointing when you're landing from a tumbling move on that four inch apparatus it is so easy to have little slips like that that's something you that you just can't help sometimes shaking her up a little bit on that scissor leap of course, the fall costs her a half a point, and that'll completely knock her out of the all-around contention. As we've mentioned time and time again, this apparatus is, is so tough to be perfect all the time and to stay consistent. Her dismount, back handspring, double tuck, very disappointing for Bontas. This is such a freak accident. Her first foot was right on, and her second foot just slipped off. She tried to fight it, but she just couldn't stay on. And with that break, a disappointing score of 9.425. Svetlana Boganskaya is an icy cool competitor. Her teammate, Tatiana Groshkova, whom we saw earlier, sees her differently. 
нравится тем, что... I like her. Вот. Мне, например, Because once when I had a problem in a competition and started to cry, she came over and helped me put myself together. So I could perform in the other events. There's no question that she's had a tremendous impact on the younger gymnasts, but for now she'll need a solid routine here to win the title. She's had trouble with this bar routine in practice. But she has also put on her game face and been very steady throughout the competition. She's gotten a little bit taller, it seems, and it's really much more difficult to keep up with the younger athletes, especially because they are so small. She's five foot four, but look how smooth she is. And that long body line certainly is very impressive. <laughs> Kathy, there's your winner. Logan Sky really shows her experience on this dismount. She pulls her high pike double all the way around and plants those feet as if they were glued to the floor. With a smile that we rarely see and a score of 9.975, Svetlana Boganskaya wins her second consecutive European Championship. She's followed by Kalinina, then Anodi is third, Bontas dropped to seventh, and Groshkova placed tenth. The young gymnast arrived in Athens searching for glory, but once again it was Svetlana Boganskaya who came closest to perfection. For Kathy Rigby-McCoy, I'm Bart Connor. Thanks for joining us in Athens.